Sarita is my first cousin. Oh, so, so you probably have known her for a long time then? Yes, almost all her life, I should say. I mean, I've, I've talked to Sarita and she said she looks at you as an elder sister. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, she's, she's always been interested in uh, statistics and math and so on. Did she like uh, being so studious or? She was very studious. I, w I would say she was very a uh, smart child as a child. Yeah. Very good with numbers. Okay. Um, uh, Sandhya, you were, uh, you had Sarita as a teaching assistant or something like that? Yeah, I did. Oh yeah, this was about a year ago, I think you said, right? Yeah. So uh, how was she as a teacher? I and mean, you can be completely honest. If she was <laughs> terrible, you can tell us. No, she, I, I actually really liked uh, having Sarita as my teaching assistant. She, she was pretty motivating. She, did she come across as a fun person? Like, was she wild and crazy or anything like that? <laughs> I wouldn't say that she was wild and crazy. Uh -huh. Or at least if she was, she didn't really show that side to us. So tell me, uh, do you know um, uh, Sarita's sister too? Uh, she's, she's a lot more popular, right, Uma? Yes, Uma was a very, very adorable child. Oh, really? Very, see, very cute. See, even you are saying that now. <laughs> Now, I, 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 does that mean that Sarita is not cute? No, she was. She, she was a very adorable child, very cute. But when you look at a child, a, a child who's sitting on her own mm -hmm. and playing, right. relative to a person who, uh, relative to a kid who is more naughty, who gets into things. Right, and who's, right. So you know, you like that second part. Oh, okay, okay. But was she confident? Did she seem to like statistics? She did seem to like statistics. There was... Uh, a couple of instances where maybe that might not have been clear, but uh -huh. she, I guess people have their off days. Okay. But, so um, you're saying she wasn't always great then? <laughs> I'm putting words in your mouth. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> okay. So now, now you are also a statistician, isn't that right? Yes. So you're also sort of a brainy person then? Mm. Right? I don't okay. know. I could do stat and math, I guess. Uh, yeah, so Something you are a, just just say you are a brainy person. <laughs> I mean, we all know. So, but uh, so so what what drew you to statistics? Um, I actually, believe it or not, oh. I was not always interested in statistics. I was actually very very bad at statistics. Oh really? Yes. Wow. <laughs> so this is great hope for all the people out there who <laughs> might think they're bad at math and yeah, statistics. Yeah, I actually had math phobia when I was younger. <laughs> oh no. I, are you serious? Yeah, really? yeah. No matter how many times my professors would uh, try to get me to understand the information, it just it just wouldn't work with my. Were with your myself. parents good in it? Uh, yeah, my my parents were were very good at it. So my did, dad was very good. Did that create even worse pressure then for you? Uh, kind of. <laughs> uh, right. And uh, when I was finished my undergrad, my mother was not feeling well. Mm -hmm. My grandmother because I was the oldest granddaughter in the family, she wanted me to get married. Mm. My mother was the one who put her foot down saying, I have to go for my master's. Wow, that's great. In a way, I kind of had some pride and I didn't want to tell other people that I was struggling in, in math or statistics. And eventually I uh, opened up to my parents and said, you know, I'm struggling in this class. And my parents uh, helped me find a tutor and uh, after I received some tutoring, mm -hmm. I really understood math and I was able to understand why it was important, which essentially helped me like math in the wow. end. I would, I would think that you must have really worked extremely hard. Is that true? Yeah. I, okay. I and you can let us know. <laughs> yeah, I had, to, I had to work hard every day. It, it was an uphill battle. Uh -huh. Of course, if you do do good in math, people will say, "Oh, you're so smart." Right. But at the same time, if a girl is good in math, they will always say, "Oh, so what? Anyway, she's going to get married and have children." Oh wow. So that's quite a bit of a downer, mm -hmm. I would say. Right. It's the deal. Maybe people aren't as aware mm -hmm. that they're doing that, but I would say that there are many cases where, uh, like elder people, feel that they don't need to spend as much time with women because uh, they're eventually going to start a family. And right. they're, I wouldn't say not worth it, but right. essentially that. Okay, yeah. People don't look at girls going into math because they don't think they are that smart. Ah. 
that's always the they always think oh they're probably not that smart that's why i feel like engineering there are not that many women huh. men are a little bit afraid of uh, women who are smarter than them right somehow they want a upper hand why do you think that is is it just an ego thing uh it's i think so it's ego as well as because even if otherwise even if it's not ego if even if the husband accepts that mm-hmm. the man accepts that his mother would not like it oh the mother in law exactly right, the mother in law right, right. would not like it right. because she wants her son to have an upper hand actually one person that i had met that um had dealt with much discrimination throughout her college career mm-hmm. like she wasn't taken seriously by her professors she wasn't given the support system she pretty much had to uh endure her entire college process herself. Huh. And I think that it's important for people to understand what some women had to go through because there are still some women that experience that maybe to not to that caliber, mm-hmm. but it's still experience. Huh. Okay. It depends on each personality. Right. If you can get out of it and say, "Okay, you are going to go into it, go into it." Mm-hmm. It's different. Right. But if you are want to be like a typical another person in your age group mm-hmm. and like a typical woman uh, and a girl in the age pressure. group peer, peer pressure, pressure right yes then you would always tend to put yourself down wow that's 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 but but do you think it's changing a little bit i think so because mm-hmm. now women are more aware of what's going around going on around the world in fact mm-hmm. and they are more aware and i would say now the girls in present generation mm-hmm. they are more willing to go into math and engineering and physics oh. stem majors basically right right do you feel that your math background is strong enough now yeah i i definitely you're, you're confident in other words yes i'm okay. very confident i think my grades also show it too <laughs> that's great congratulations so if you put in the work if you put in the time if you put in the effort you will see results mm-hmm. you just have to be patient even sarita had to work hard exactly right <laughs>